A restraining order against her former husband, David Eason, has been issued to TEN mom Janelle Evans and her children following a contentious legal battle. At their Thursday court appearance, Janelle, 32, and her three children asked David, 35, for a six-month domestic abuse protection order. The U.S. Sun can exclusively report that during the hearing, the judge granted her request. Due to David's repeated requests for extensions to give him more time to hire legal representation, Janelle and David had appeared in court three times on this issue. As to Janelle's attorney Brandon Pettijohn, who disclosed to the U.S. Sun that Janelle currently possesses an active restraining order against David, David was not represented for the whole day-long trial despite the delays. He also said that David must give up his guns and that he is not allowed to have any contact at all with Janelle and her kids due to the protective order. This includes visiting the kids' schools and sharing information about the former TV star on social media. Furthermore, as Janelle's lawyer pointed out, David tried to argue as a sovereign citizen prior to the trial starting, but the judge rejected it. Given their ongoing child custody lawsuit, no arrangements were made for the care of Janelle and David's seven-year-old daughter, Ensley. The 16 and pregnant alum and her divorce spouse, according to Janelle's lawyer, departed the courthouse without saying anything. A summons for Janelle's separation case and the order of protection was served to David last month. The event took place on Janelle and David's boat, where he has been staying since their breakup earlier this year. Only pictures from the event were published by the U.S. Sun. Janelle detailed other incidents in which David reportedly behaved violently in her initial request for the restraining order. Among them were allegations that he ran over a puppy. David's 16-year-old daughter, Marisa, witnessed the dog dying, according to the filing, which was exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun. She further states that the alleged incident happened on February 6 during an argument at their North Carolina home. Janelle's report stated that she and David got into a fight outside their house in the driveway. David storms off, gets into Janelle's Toyota Sequoia, drives off without asking, and kills a puppy by running it over with her car. While the kids were in school, David's daughter, Marisa's stepdaughter, was at home and saw the dog die. David saw the dog go downhill as well. This seems a lot like the time David was charged with shooting their French bulldog nugget in 2019 after the dog allegedly bit their daughter. In a later interview with People, David admitted to the killing. Janelle further claimed that David had treated her and their children in an emotionally abusive manner. In addition to her daughter Ensley, Janelle, a former teen mom to star, is also a mother to two sons from past relationships, 9-year-old Kaiser and 14-year-old Jace. The former MTV presenter alleged that David made statements along the lines of I want to run away from these mother of asterisk asteriskers and never come back. I hate these kids, and these kids are asterisk asterisk holes. Along with these accusations, she said he called the children derogatory names like you're stupid, stop acting so gay, little screaming b asterisk 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 a, stop being a f asterisk 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 t, and your mom is a piece of asterisk asterisk t. Janelle claimed that David had told her to commit suicide so it seems that his treatment of her wasn't any better. Over the years, the former couple's turbulent romance has garnered media attention on multiple occasions, which Janelle brought up in her appeal. One concerned an October 2018 event in which Janelle reported to the authorities that David had physically assaulted her, breaking her collarbone. Janelle reported that her collarbone was ripped, according to hospital physicians, and that she is still in pain. Despite her husband's claims that it was a drunken misunderstanding, the reality TV alum chose not to file charges.